determine the location for the Hydrostar to be mounted. Ensure the location gives you access to run wires and brake lines. Secure the Hydrostar using the mounting brackets on the Hydrostar. A dampening material may be used under the Hydrostar to reduce vibration when the pump is running. If wires or brake lines will be run through floors or bulkheads, use grommets to ensure no chafing occurs. The Hydrostar requires four wires to function properly. Black is 12 volts of constant power. Blue is to the tow vehicle brake controller wire. Yellow is for the emergency breakaway system on the cold side of the breakaway switch. And white is to the ground. Ensure all four wires are a minimum of 12 gauge. Unhitch the trailer from the tow vehicle. Remove safety chains and breakaway switch lanyard. Unplug trailer connector and chalk the trailer wheels. Using a jack, lift one side of the trailer so the tires are off the ground. Using jack stands, secure the elevated trailer. Remove the lug nuts from the wheel and remove the wheel. Remove the dust cap from the end of the axle. Remove the cotter pin from the spindle nut. Remove the spindle nut washer and outer bearing. Remove the electric brake hub. The inner bearing and seal will be removed as well. Unbolt and remove the backing plate. Disconnect the electric wires from the backing plate assembly. Remove buildup grease, dirt and debris from the spindle. Ensure the race is installed in the rotor. If not, install the race. Thoroughly pack the inner and outer bearings with grease and lightly grease all seals. Insert the inner bearing into the rotor. Carefully press the seal into the rotor. Install the caliber bracket, torquing the manufacturer's recommended spec. Recommended placement is so the caliber will be at the 3 or 9 o'clock position. Apply grease to the spindle. Place the disc rotor on the spindle and slide fully to the rear of the spindle. Be mindful not to compromise the seal. Install the retaining washer. Install the spindle nut hand tight. Back off the nut quarter turn and replace the cotter pin. Install the caliber and bolt it to the caliber bracket. Torque the caliber bolts to the manufacturer's recommended spec. Install the wheel. Determine the routing of the brake lines from the Hydrostar to each caliber. From the Hydrostar, run a single brake line to the first axle of the trailer. 
From the first axle, tee off and run one set of lines down one side of the trailer, and then the other across the first axle and down the other side. Attach rubber flex brake lines to the caliber. Ensure there is room for axle travel up and down. Ensure the lines will not pinch at any point. Ensure all fittings are tightened correctly to avoid leakage. Always use the proper size wrench so as not to round the brake line fitting. Ensure all brake lines are located where it's not to kink, pinch, or rub. Fill the Hydrostar with DOT 3 or DOT 4 brake fluid. Use a rubber tube and catch pan on the bleeder valves to prevent spillage of brake fluid. Bleed the Hydrostar first, then the farthest caliber from the Hydrostar working towards the pump. Place the tube on the bleeder valve. Activate the brakes and run until a solid stream of brake fluid comes out. Tighten the bleeder valve when a solid stream is achieved. During the bleeding process, constantly check the brake fluid level in the Hydrostar. Fill when needed. Repeat these steps for all calibers. Once bled, activate the brakes and check for leaks. 